Hi, my name is Martin, I'm from Vispark, and in this video I'd like to give you a brief introduction to AutoMap and AutoMaterial. AutoMap is a shader for 3 ds Max, and together with AutoMaterial, a scripted plugin, you can create very easily materials based on photographs, on simple bitmaps. So basically what you do is you load a bitmap into either AutoMap or AutoMaterial, generate the maps on the fly and uh, create a base material together with diffuse, bump, reflection, displacement layers that uh, serves as a very good base for further refinement or immediate rendering. So here are some examples what you can do and this is the example where uh, you don't see the diffuse layer just to get an impression of um, how the quality is of the the uh, conversion and uh, yeah let me start to give you a short overview so um, once installed you can either start with auto material or um, with auto map I'll start with auto material which is a material for V-Ray which you can find in this V-Ray rollout for uh, standard and mental ray I'm using V-Ray in this case and uh, instantiating it gives you this surface and uh, you can either load a single bitmap in this mode I'll do this here, select bitmap and uh, I'm gonna take one bitmap for um, site work so this is loaded here I can choose uh, one of six uh, algorithms which uh, give you different results. Uh, I can choose whether I want to uh, generate a separate diffuse match map which excludes the reflections within the map. Uh, I can select to generate a specular map and I can uh, select to create an additional normal map from the height map in case I want to use it uh, in a game engine or I'm, I'm preferring the normal map. All right, so um, basically load it, generate. Now uh, it's processing, and uh, once this is done, which takes a few seconds, one, two, three. Yeah, depending on the size of the bitmap, uh, it may take a bit longer or a bit less but as uh, the background processing is quite heavy and the algorithms are quite sophisticated it may take a bit. Alright, here we are. So you'll get some previews, simple previews of the bitmaps. So this is the height map, the diffuse map without reflections and uh, the, the extracted reflections. Um, here is, an, is a first preview. So uh, this is the, the immediate result by just loading the bitmap and converting. Uh, it has too much reflections and I can either go into uh, the material itself and re reduce the reflection here, uh, but I can also go the simple way just for preview and adjust the brightness, for example, or the contrast here. I'll add a little bit more contrast and I'll reduce the brightness maybe even more, let's say minus 50 and you'll see you just get a bit of reflection here, a little bit more even a bit more and uh, I can invert the bump map I think that's that's better I'll increase the contrast and I'll assign the material to my surface And let's see how this looks like. Okay, so that's basically the simple procedure. Um, of course, I can increase displacement, I can increase any value. I can also use the maps for um, different layers, uh, glossiness or whatever I like, because the extracted bitmaps are available as um, bitmap layers and they are saved directly next to the original bitmap 
So you can use these these bitmaps for any other material as well, or you can uh, further refine them in Photoshop if you like. But to get a first really start off, um, I think it's a pretty good result. I'll do another one on, on the teapot. Forgive me if I'm using this very simple scene. I just wanted to um, get a first impression and uh, wanted to use the simple objects. So um, I'm using another material, a second one, also the V-Ray version. I'm selecting a different base material. This is basically the um, 3ds Max library that comes with the installation. So uh, I'll take a Rust bitmap. Uh, I'll take a different algorithm. Generate. Wait a few more seconds until the conversion is done. And we'll see in a few seconds how this looks like. So again, here you'll see the height map, the diffuse map, and the specular map. And I'll play around with this a little bit more. I'll increase the contrast again. And let's see what happens if I invert this uh, to reflective. And uh, I'll reduce the saturation a little bit and uh, increase the, uh, decrease the contrast and assign this to the teapot and let's see how this looks like so as you can see it's pretty easy to start off uh, with really simple bitmaps create materials and uh, you get really um, quite good results, I would say, um, without ever going to Photoshop and uh, creating the layers yourself. Uh, and of course, you can still refine the materials, you can improve and adjust, because auto material is basically just um, an extended V-Ray or standard material. So you have all the controls that you want still within the material. As you can see, it's the V-Ray material with all the parameters that you probably know. Um, with these and uh, this contains the um, auto map channel select auto map itself uh, and with more controls for further refinement but um, I'd like to give you one more example uh, of what auto material is capable of because it's uh, it has a nice feature to batch convert a folder so you don't you really need to convert one image by one but you can just select one folder. I prepared one. Uh, it's this folder here, containing 12 uh, bitmaps, original photos. And um, <coughs> it says found 12 compatible bitmaps. And let's generate these. And we can watch the conversion while it's going on. And for each bitmap, a height map, a normal map, a specular map, and a separate diffuse map is created. So um, here you see results coming. And uh, again, depending on the algorithm and depending on the size of your orig original bitmaps, it may take a bit longer or shorter. Uh, but it, it's worth uh, really um, waiting a few few seconds because um, it would take much longer to do this in Photoshop, of course. And because, again, because you have the bitmaps saved to hard drive, you can still work on them and uh, and adjust them in, in other applications directly in, in Photoshop and 3ds Max or wherever. All right, so here we are, all 12 maps converted. Uh, this is just a preview issue, so no worries. The map is uh, correct. And... Um, yeah, you can now use these images and, uh, for example, load them across map or in walls and tiles or mosaic and uh, basically have a material uh, with randomized bitmaps ready to go. All right, so that's auto material. Next, let's take a look at auto map. 
Okay, so next, give me you, uh, let me give you the um, overview to AutoMap itself. AutoMaterial is basically a setup of a V-Ray standard uh, material, which already has assigned AutoMap and AutoMap channel select within the material uh, to make life easier. But um, to get more flexibility, you can also use AutoMap itself and I will demonstrate this with the slate material editor <coughs> because it's easier to understand how AutoMap works. So um, I'll start with a simple material. Let's take a viewer material. And uh, I'll assign a oops, I'll assign a uh, auto map channel select to it and I'll explain to you why um, basically auto map channel select is uh, a map which uh, allows you to select different outputs from auto map itself so uh, because you don't want to um, convert for each channel uh, the layers again and again we wanted to find a way how you can use one auto map and uh, use the output channels from auto map within different um, different material layers. <coughs> so uh, basically, you need to have uh, the outputs assigned to the correct layers that you want to. Let's say diffuse should go to diffuse and. Uh, um, then the next one goes to bump, and the bump map has uh, is using the height map. Well, this one should be the diffuse map, and this one should be the height map. Then, yeah, exactly. And uh, the next one, reflection. which is the specular map. So we have diffuse in the diffuse slot. We have reflection in this, the, the, the specular and the reflection map and the height map in the bump map. Diffuse, specular, height. And um, this one can also go into the uh, displacement slot. All right, now um, we need auto map. And auto, auto map is assigned to all of these at the same time. And here is where you load the bitmap and then um, adjust which channels should be generated. Let's say we want a diffuse map, we want a speculum map. Height map is generated anyway all the time. Here we can choose the um, algorithm and uh, here we should choose the bitmap let me take uh, whatever this one and now you see that uh, the map is being converted it takes a bit depending on how large your source bitmap is and how, of course how fast your computer is So, just a few seconds. There we go. And you see that uh, the material has these layers assigned to the correct channels. Uh, let's adjust the displacement, which is too much at the moment. And uh, now we can use it. I'm going back to this. And uh, we'll assign. Uh, no, wait a minute.
Okay, here we go. So there it is. And uh, I'll assign it to this one too. Let's see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, um, this is the way how to set up a material when you want to use AutoMap itself. And uh, I think it's quite straightforward and easy. And for uh, more details on the um, on the use of uh, the, the parameters within AutoMap, um, there is an online reference guide. Uh, you can access this reference guide through the GUI or directly online. So there is a simple um, simple button on top of the GUI. Here we are. That's the reference guide. Click on this and uh, we'll open up the reference guide for AutoMap. Well, you will also find some more examples. Um, the parameters explained and uh, examples of conversions and what the different algorithms do and how they, they are different from each other. Okay, so um, that's it. I hope uh, it helps. And uh, if you're interested, check out uh, the plugin on the website. Products, plugins, and then uh, AutoMap. And uh, hope you like it. Bye.